Well, we talked about it earlier. There's a contract already in place to make Gerard Mayo the next head coach of the New England Patriots. They would have had to buy him out if they had moved on to someone else and done a full-blown search. Adam Schefter of ESPN reports at a press conference next week, it will be formally announced that Gerard Mayo is the next coach of the New England Patriots. We thought that was a succession plan for the past couple of years. He's the guy. He's the guy. We learned last night that the paperwork was already filed. The question was... Did it crash so badly that they had to do a hard reset? The Crafts have decided they don't need to do it. They'll stick with Gerard Mayo, and they'll move forward from there. I'm surprised it happened so quickly, Peter. I'm a little surprised, too, but it just leads me to believe that the Patriots all along have been thinking that uh, whenever we part ways with Bill Belichick, and they had to know this entering the last month of the season. Whenever we part ways, we've got our guy on staff. And look, Gerard Mayo is an absolute total, uh, he's an unknown. He's an unknown. He was a former first round pick of the Patriots, obviously a good linebacker for them. Uh, But no one has any idea who he is, what his ideas are, what his, you know, what his philosophy is. Will the Patriots now go out and whether it be someone on staff like Elliot Wolf, will they hire a, 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 a general manager from the outside to come in and to run the draft and to have real power in the organization, which you never had under Bill Belichick? We shall see. But I'm a little surprised like you, Mike, that they didn't survey the landscape, but they had to be all in on Mayo uh, for some time. And I think part of the reality is doing it now, getting the word out now, it it cuts off a full weekend of pregame chatter, Belichick aftermath. It's out there that Mayo's got the succession clause in his contract. They haven't exercised it. Are they going to bring back Vrabel? And before the Vrabel thing can really get off the ground, boom, it's Mayo. Let's not even have the conversation. Let's not people... Let people entertain the possibility that it's going to be Mike Vrabel. Let's just get this done with Mayo. And, you know, Peter, I think it goes back to what we talked about earlier with the manner in which Bill Belichick accumulated power. After the third Super Bowl win, that was when he got the ability to run everything. So now Gerard Mayo comes in and he's at the same spot Belichick was at. He's just the coach. And I I wonder whether there was a fear... And maybe they had enough of a chance to do their due diligence to just get a get an idea as to where Mike Vrabel's mindset was. Maybe Vrabel wasn't willing to just be the coach. Maybe Vrabel wants to to shop for the groceries after what he went through in Tennessee. And maybe he thinks there's someplace else he can go where he'd have more power to be the person who doesn't trade A.J. Brown, for example. So, you know, I, I think that a big part of this is The Patriots go back to square one where they were with Bill Belichick, where the coach is just the coach and someone else will put together the lineup and they'll work together cooperatively and they'll try to develop a team that wins the way that Belichick and company won their first few years on the job together. You know what? I, I mean, we, we obviously now are, uh, you know, we're on the verge of having a conversation with, Devin McCourty, who was, you know, the Patriots first round draft choice in 2010. I'd really be interested in talking to Devin about a guy who he was teammates with because Gerard Mayo, the first round pick in 2008, two years later, McCourty comes on the scene. He's going to have a lot of sort of institutional knowledge of Gerard Mayo. And I, for one, am anxious to hear it because I think I, like so many other people, everybody said, well, what you mean? You, you've never talked to Gerard Mayo. I mean, there's a chance in a locker room after a game, I've talked to him. It doesn't stand out if I did. But the one thing I would say is players and coaches for the new England Patriots are kept under rocks period coaches mostly because players you you do get to talk to them in open locker room periods 
But for the most part, you do not know these coaches because Bill Belichick doesn't want you to know them. He doesn't want writers developing sources with other coaches uh, on his staff. So people don't know Gerard Mayo. And, you know, other than the little press availabilities he has during the course of the year, and that's going to make this very, very interesting because, look, the downside for Gerard Mayo, he's never had to deal with in any way, shape, or form being the man, being the guy who the buck stops with. And that can be a lofty, difficult thing, very difficult, especially in this day and age. And following Bill Belichick, I mean, ask some coaches over the years what it was like to follow a legend. It's not very easy. The only one I've ever seen do it well is Jimmy Johnson following Tom Landry. But this, there's a lot here uh, to look at. I'm looking forward to asking Devin McCourty about him. Well, and it's also a direct connection back to Bill Belichick. It's not a complete fresh face, no ties. It's still a continuation of the Patriot way. So how much of that Patriot way is going to be reflected in Gerard Mayo? Is it going to be a new day? Are, are they going to be more open? Is it going to be less secretive? And and the one thing that I always noticed when a Belichick lieutenant would go somewhere else and declare to the world, I'm going to be my own person. They don't realize how the proximity to and the nonstop residence under the thumb of Bill Belichick changes you. Even if you think you're going to do it differently than Bill does, you're still doing it a lot like Bill does because you just can't take it out of your DNA at that point. That's where you've been. That's what you know. That's how you've learned to coach. And I don't expect Gerard Mayo to come in and be dramatically different than Bill Belichick. He'll be different, but that's what he knows. So that's what makes it an interesting choice for me. Because it felt like it crashed enough the past two years that they just needed to go elsewhere. And Vrabel struck me as the perfect hybrid. Played for Belichick, didn't coach with Belichick. Has coaching experience, has done well. I, I am surprised. I am surprised that it happened this quickly. But I think part of it, too, is they didn't want to let this Vrabel chatter kind of take over. And then they don't get to make their decision you know, on their own without too much external pressure. One other thing I would say, Mike, do you realize that Gerard Mayo will uh, become the New England Patriots coach having in his life since being a college football player at Tennessee, since being drafted in the first round by the Patriots in 2008, over the last 15 years, he never worked for another organization other than the Patriots. He played for the Patriots for eight years. I believe retired on Instagram. My memory of that is vague, but there was no big ceremony. Played for the Patriots for eight years, was out of football, and then in 2019 took a job as an assistant coach with the Patriots. He doesn't know any other way of doing things than the Belichick way. So what does that mean? I don't know. We'll see. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.